Miller says that he saw the shooting victim who was driving this pickup truck ramming a car moments before the pickup truck driver was shot to death. I was in Middletown earlier today looking further into the shooting after police released the identity of the shooting victim. You can see the back window blown out of the pickup truck involved in what police are calling a road rage shooting from Tuesday night. We now know the identity of the man who was driving the truck, 26-year-old Brandon Gunstenson from Westchester. Earlier this week, Middletown's acting police chief said it was a gunshot wound to the neck that killed Gunstenson, but he wasn't sure exactly where the altercation began. We've received multiple sources that have said it started at a bar down on South Main. We've got received sources that started at a place here on Central Avenue. So we canvassed several bars in the Middletown area and eventually came across the Madison Inn. The owner here says he has video of Gunstenson leaving the bar not too long before he would be shot and killed. A 911 caller reported he saw what was happening right before the shooting. They almost hit me. There's a car and a truck. The truck was behind him. as a white Chevy extended cab truck, and he rammed him. And then I heard gunshots. Police report they found the person who was driving the sedan involved in the incident, but then disclosed it was a passenger in the car who did the shooting. They say they know who the shooter is, but they have not arrested the driver or the passenger. Why would they have not arrested anyone yet? They probably don't have probable cause to arrest at this point. Former Hamilton County prosecutor, now private attorney, Mike Allen says even if Gunstenson rammed the sedan, it will be difficult to justify the shooting by saying it was self-defense. If the guy claims self-defense, the burden's on him to show that, you know, he wasn't eminent fear of death or serious bodily harm and he didn't start the thing. And unless there's video or credible witnesses that don't have any kind of uh, axe to grind either way, it's going to be tough. Allen says one thing that works in the shooter's favor, Ohio no longer requires a duty to retreat. People are allowed to protect themselves with lethal force without first trying to escape the situation. Now, the coroner conducted the autopsy on Brandon Gunstenson today and determined that he had been shot more than once. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.